Okay, this video we're going to finish up uh, chapter 13, section 1. We're going to talk about um, Gay Lussac's law. It talks about his law says states that the pressure or fixed amount of gas varies directly with the Kelvin temperature when the volume remains constant. Okay, so this is the third of the gas laws we're talking about. So this one, it has a little equations down there. It says the volume, we've taken the volume out of out of these equations and we have pressure one over the temperature. Now temperature is still in Kelvin equals pressure two over temperature two in Kelvins. Okay, so the way this looks like here is if we increase the temperature, they have the temperature here at 150 Kelvin and one atmosphere, and we heat it up with a Bunsen burner or a little flame, whatever, to twice the temperature, twice the Kelvin temperature, 150 to 300 then that's going to also increase the pressure, double the pressure. We double the temperature, we're going to double the temperature. This is a direct relationship, okay? So this one is um, just like Charles' law. It also has a direct relationship, so it looks like this graph over here goes straight up like that. So that's a direct relationship. Pressure goes up, temperature goes up, or temperature goes down pressure goes down, they're in direct relation to each other. Okay, the combined gas law combines all three of these gas laws we've talked about, Charles, Boyles, and Guy Lussac's law, and we all combine those into one, one law, one combined gas law, where we have the pressure, volume, and temperature, and that's going to be a constant. Those three variables, you know, the product divided by the product of pressure and the volume divided by the temperature in Kelvin is going to be a constant number. So we can set that equal to the new pressures, new volumes, new temperatures, and all these fractions should be the same all the time. So here's the relationships that we've gone over. Boyle's law, constant temperature, P1, V1, P2, V2. Charles' law, pressure is the const, constant, V over T equals V over T. Okay, the Sachs law, um, amount of gas, the volume is the same, P1, T1, P2, T2. And the combined gas law combines all three of these relationships into one mathematical relationship. Okay, so we have a little problem here. Helium filled balloon has a volume of 50 liters at 25 degrees C. And it's this pressure, 1.08 1. atmospheres. What would the volume be if we change the pressure and the temperature? Okay, so here's the, the equation, the gas law, combined gas law equation again. So the 50, that's the V1, the 50, 25, that's the T1, but we got to change that to Kelvin, so that's going to be 298 Kelvin, and the one. 0.08 atmospheres are P1. So all those first three go in this equation part here, and the other two go P2 is here at 0.855, and the Celsius temperature T2, we changed that to Kelvin, so that's going to be 283. Okay, so you can rearrange the equations to solve for V2, right? If we multiply both sides by T2, we get T2 on top. That gets rid of this on this side. We divide by P2. It puts P2 on the bottom. So we get these three variables on the top, these two variables on the bottom to solve for, we're looking for the volume, the new volume. Okay, so we plug all these numbers in. Okay, so the new, the pressure one, volume one, and the um, temperature one. That's got the wrong temperature. That should be 298. Sorry about that. I'll change that quick. Sorry about that. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so 298. You know, if you multiply these together, you should get the right answer I'm going to say. So I had to put the right numbers in there. So that's 298. Okay. So, um, Multiply all the top. Then remember what I said in the class I said this the other day that when you divide by this product, you have to, if you put this on, on your calculator, you can divide, multiply, multiply, multiply on top. And then you have to put divide by, and then you may want to put parentheses around this product 298 times 
855. So to make sure you're doing what you said, I did an example on that. The calculator, we got some weird number, really big number when you didn't do that. So if you try this out on your calculator, just try it, make sure you know how to do it. And you should get around 60 uh, liters for the new volume. Okay. All right. So that's the uh, end of that lesson. So watch the, uh, the, um, fill out the form and I'll see you guys in class tomorrow, tomorrow.